Hello there, what is going on everybody? Today we're talking a little bit about the Pikes from the Shadow Collective. There's a lot of information from the recent stream that AMG did. And, uh, you know, while I'm going to be talking about all of it, I want to talk just today about the Pikes a little bit because we got a lot of stuff to talk about with these guys. And I thought it was pretty significant, so I wanted to lead off with this. If you guys are new here to the channel, there is still time left to enter to win that $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as as that now we also want to thank our sponsor today luxury playstyle amazing tokens you hear me talk about them all the time you see them in my battle reports they are fabulous you're going to save 15 percent if you use code crabok vip plus uh, if you spend 35 dollars or more you're going to get a free crabok token uh, it's uh it's pretty much the best token in gaming so definitely check out luxuryplaystyle.com and use that code crabok vip so Today we're going to be talking about the Pikes. Will Schick was painting one of the Pike foot soldiers on uh, on the stream the other day. Uh, I talked a little bit about some of the information that came out of the stream because there's a lot. There's a lot of information uh, that they've been leaking. And we're going to be getting more and more previews of this and other battle forces in, you know, starting soon. It's going to be coming soon. They're aiming for April for a lot of the uh, spoiler spoilerific stuff to start coming down. And this whole Shadow Syndicate stuff is aiming for, for June. So uh, I don't know if that'll actually happen. Sometimes delays happen, but that's cool. That's cool. Um, so, yeah, we got to look at the Pike uh, you know, more than just this miniature, although it was pretty cool. It's kind of like the, the artist formerly known as Pike, um, or a.k.a. Purple Rain, a.k.a. just the Purple Pike that, uh, that will shake that. And in a lot of pretty cool bluish purple colors. I actually really like this color scheme. So... We learned a little bit about this. Uh, he showed us the unit card. We got to see the unit box. We learned a couple of interesting bits of information. Um, you know, that basically, first off, that it will have its own unit expansion box, which kind of implies that uh, just about everything from the Shadow Collective starter will come in its own uh, expansion. My guess is Maul probably will not, uh, because that's kind of how the existing starters are. Like, if you want that commander, you have to get starter box but all the individual guys uh, that ones that you could run duplicates of will also be available elsewhere and so just like the you know with you know, you know Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader um, you know and and well I guess they did have limited edition versions of each of those so those are maybe that's not the best example but you know basically and there may be a limited edition mall that comes out some at some point too which would be a really cool idea I think that's I think mall is a fantastic option to have a limited edition kind of special sculpt if you were looking to do that plus that would give you for, you know, somebody that you could use in Separatists, I don't know. But let's talk about the, the Pikes a little bit more. We got to see the unit card, uh, and, and I thought the unit card was pretty good. Now, he showed it off. It, it was out, The camera was out of focus. The camera was still focused on his painting area, which was like a good like two feet behind where he was holding the card. So it was very, very blurry. But what we were able to make out is that it has all four factions on it. It's 40 points. We're pretty sure it's 40 points, and they have a different uh, symbol in the top left. Uh, and now it's a little bit unclear exactly what that symbol is, but I think I can make it out because the Pike Capos card, we, which we've already had from, from Mini Stravaganza, uh, shows, you know, a kind of a Pike symbol. It kind of looks like their heads and little things coming out. Um, but it's interesting that they can go in all four factions. Um, now, again, this is some of this isn't exactly new information, but I'm going to reiterate it. Uh, while this is a core at 40 points that has a pretty nice attack and, uh, you know, search for defense and a pretty good melee attack and some other really cool features. Um, oh, by the way, I cleaned this up a little bit. So let's, that's kind of how it should look. So I kind of combined a little bit of the information that we've seen before with, uh, you know, the, the kind of high res version of the card versus, you know, mixed in with the kind of blurified new version of the card. And this is the best that I can do right now. So, um, so yeah, there we go. So Danger Sense 2 is always really cool. I mean, yeah, like, it's going to be nice in the Rebels. I think it's going to be really nice uh, in, Re in Rebel units, um, especially <laughs> especially with like Jin Pathfinders. You guys know I'm not a big fan of that. But Outmaneuver is going to be nice. Um, uh, and, and Independent Dodge 1. So if you don't give it, you get free dodge tokens and, and, and Danger Sense and Surge for Defense and uh, a, you know, a Range 3 attack. It's not bad. And a good melee attack too for people who get in uh, close. Um, that's, that's not that's not too shab uh, shabby at all. Now, um, the fact that these guys can go in all four factions shouldn't get your hopes up for everybody being able to go in uh, all four factions. They did, in fact, say most mercs are not going to be able to go in all four factions. Like they're going to be doing redoing all the bounty hunters, for example, and most of those are only going to go in like two factions. 
although that's still more than they're in now, uh, I think with the exception of Boba Fett, who's probably at least the old Boba Fett, which means he's probably still going to be uh, Empire only. Now, they said they said the like old Boba Fett. So my guess is that like new Boba Fett will probably have a little more faction uh, options, um, or maybe we'll even be able to go into the Rebels. Um, again, just because they can go into a faction doesn't mean that's the only place they can go. Uh, you know, Mercs can still go into battle forces that allow them, regardless of whether or not they can go into a faction as a whole. So you know, you might see uh, well, Pikes can go into Rebels. They're not going to be able to go into every rebel list they're not going to necessarily be able to go into rebel battle forces they're going to be a list you know you won't be able to put these guys in the hoth defenders unless hoth defenders decides hey there were pikes you know like if lucasfilm comes out and be like oh by the way there were a whole bunch of pikes working for the rebels at hoth you know and then we see that in like a, a another movie a behind the scenes kind of thing then of course that could that could happen but but generally that's not going to be the case um so uh you know battle forces are going to be like their own specific like basically sub faction but within the the base four factions, that you are going to be able to take pikes, and they're not going to count towards your core, um, your core count. So you won't be able to just take three pikes and call it a day. If you want to run three pikes, you're going to have to have three rebel, you know, three rebel core also, and then your your pikes. Now there's going to be a limit to how many uh, of these guys you can take, but there are some upgrades that are also coming uh, that will you know potentially raise that limit. So you you're not going to be able to max out on pikes. You know, for example, and and they're not going to be the only core. I think the uh, Black Sun, which we really haven't gotten to see much of them yet, will be another core. Um, you know, we don't we, we don't really don't much don't know much about them. But if they want to make them a little bit different, maybe they'll be you know tougher, have more hit points, or maybe armor or something, or maybe a red defense die, or maybe a better attack at shorter range. Uh, you know, or something like that. You know, like I imagine they'll probably be like the difference between fleet troopers and rebel troopers, or snow troopers and storm troopers. They might have steady. Well, maybe they're more expensive too. I I would I would guess Black Sun to, would be way more expensive than Pike Foot Soldiers, just because they they look so much more beefier and they have that armor on for their for their core guys. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. I'm really interested to see more of the Black Sun guys and how they're going to work. Maybe that'd be a good opportunity for a big speculation video too. That'd be a good fun one. So um, a couple other things about the Pike Foot Soldiers that we uh, that maybe we didn't know is. The, they are coming with three command cards in their individual expansion. Now, um, that's an interesting thing because I am because you can run the Pike Capo. By the way, this is the symbol the, that, that it should be for the Pikes. Now, this was re revealed back at a uh, mini extravaganza. May have been changed with Lucasfilm licensing, but I got that from this card because you can see it here. You see the redacted in the top left corner? This is what they had on all the cards they showed us at mini extravaganza. Um, and so it's 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 realistic to expect that the Pike Capo has the exact same kind of top left, with the only difference being that the cost will be a little different for this guy. It's probably not 40 points. So I didn't wanna I didn't wanna like copy the same graphic into the capo because we don't really know. And it is in theory it's possible that you could only take this guy in less of the you know, maybe he doesn't go in all four factions, but I'm guessing that he does. Um but he, this is a commander, and so you can run this as a commander. Of course, it won't count. Again, mercs don't count towards your minimums. So you wouldn't be able to have this guy be your only commander. You could have maybe like a Leia and a Pike Capo, and then the Pike Capo issues orders to the Pikes and so on and so forth. Uh, my guess is that's kind of where those three command cards are going to really come in. Uh, they'll probably do special things if you have Pikes in your army and uh, will probably also work uh, well potentially in the Shadow Collective, since you will uh, be able to, you know, you actually have a pretty decent selection of command cards for this new faction. As it, you know, My guess is that um, you're going to probably have nine command cards in the Shadow Collective box because of the fact that if the Pikes have three, well, then Black Sun probably has three. And, uh, you know, we, we know that Maul has three. Heck, it might even be more than that. There might be, there might be a Rook cast specific one. Who knows? But I, I'm going to guess at least nine command cards at launch for the shadow collective which is really cool and it doesn't and there could be more coming too you know they, they definitely said that there's more shadow collective planned heavies and supports are coming or planned you know so all, all that kind of stuff is cool it's like so it's not like this is all you're getting because they can always add more and i think that that's a good thing for the future of battle forces you know they, they've they've talked at length about uh, how these things can poten potentially change. If Ahsoka comes out and they get the approval from Lucasfilm to put her in the 501st, then she can go into the 501st and they'll change that rule. They do this all the time 
with Marvel Crisis Protocol that they just they they say, oh, all right, this person's coming out now, so this affiliation list has changed. And it's gonna be the same thing with like you know things like the Shadow Collective and things like other the other battle forces. So we also learned a new thing about the Pike Syndicate Capo. And that while the capo can be a commander, the capo will also have a uh, a personnel card that will allow him to become a leader of one of the uh, the foot soldiers uh, units. So he can very very similar to like how the you know the rebel imperial officer kind of kind of work how they'll come in there probably raise the courage by one um, you know something similar. We don't know exactly what it's going to do, but they said it'd be similar. Uh, to what we've already seen for those guys who can go in and, and either be a commander. The generic officers, right? How they can go and be a commander or they can be an individual leader for a unit. Now, I think that that's a, a pretty cool and versatile way to run these. I think you're definitely going to want uh, multiple units of uh, pikes, probably at least two. I, for anything that's generic, I usually like to run at least two or at least pick up at least two if I think it's something that I'm going to want. And so uh, I can see these guys being pretty, pretty interesting, especially with the dodges and especially with, um, you know, the little cards like Vigilance uh, out there. And but then, you know, that that can, you know, he can't he doesn't have a command option. Right. So um, or no, he has a command option. <laughs> it's right there on the card. So he could take Vigilance. Right. And, and potentially have two. Uh, or himself and the other pike, you know, save a dodge, and then they'll, if, as long as they don't get activated another time, so they can start a turn, they can kind of start every turn with two dodges if they don't get issued orders. So I'm like, that, that's pretty cool combined with Danger Sense um, and, uh, and, and, uh, and a search for defense. They might have a, a, a respectable amount of survivability on these guys. I think that that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so, that, so that's basically... What we've learned about about the pikes here in uh, you know the the unit card the fact that they can go in all four factions um, you know and, and as we look at these you know they're not all going to be purple but I think purple is a good color for them uh, as we as we look at these uh, this card you know I want to hear from you guys like what do you think they'd be you know would be a good fit for these guys I, I, I can really see them potentially working in a separatist. Uh, you know, if you wanted to get more um, activations, but you didn't want B ones for whatever reason, like you don't, you don't want to. Maybe you're not planning on issuing a lot of orders. Maybe you know, I just ran seven sabers recently, and like I'm playing a lot of like malls, dark malls cards, which issue orders only to himself, and I don't get my B one chain going. You know, a lot of the one pips. You know, um, you know, I, I ran like malls three pip. That's a one pip. Dooku's one pip. Grievous's one pip, um, and stuff like that. And uh, in a lot of, so I had a lot of turns where I'm not able to issue orders to my core. And all of a sudden, here's a way to fill out those activations, you know, without, you know, being stuck with AI. All of a sudden, you got somebody who's not getting issued an order. They get a bonus for it, you know, as opposed to getting a penalty. Uh, and they also, oh, if, if they get shot, they, they also get to, they do get to benefit from the suppression. So they do get, you know, of course, they can lose an action that way. Um, and the outmaneuver works naturally well with the dodges they're already getting. You can still, you know, you can opt to shoot if you want to. You don't have to. You can aim and shoot. Um, and, and you have a, a much better defense, you know, than a lot of the, the basic core. Of course, you have less miniatures, right? But you also have a better better weapon. You've got black dice, you know, core with black dice for the, uh, you know, for the, for, for the separatists could be nice. Could be nice. Um, I don't. I don't know if uh, I, I could see them also potentially going into republic lists to be cheap activations. Running these guys bare bones uh, could be a very, very inexpensive way to get extra troops and extra extra activations in a clone army. Uh, now they won't be the best for a republic type of you know type of army because of the fact that you don't have surge to hit or crit. On these guys, so you don't want to maybe you want you won't be able to use them, you know, to trigger fire support very much. I mean, you could, but it's not really in your best interest. They they're probably going to be more likely just to pad activations and hopefully uh, hold objectives and survive. Survivability could be, definitely be a thing for these guys if as long as you can make sure they stick with uh, heavy cover and have those dodge tokens. Um, you know, it'll be it won't be as easy to kill them, especially if you're just holding down an objective. Plus, it's a cheap activation. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. I think Empire and uh, and Rebels, it's kind of um, it's kind of iffy. Uh, you know, the they have they have better dice color on attack than than your stormtroopers do, uh, but at the same time they uh, they don't have the red defense dice. So, uh, and then I, I, Rebels, you know, I, I, they could go very well into some of the danger sense units that are out there already. Uh, so, so there is that you want to run them with a high courage commander. Um, 
So, you know, but then again, you'd have to you'd have to run because they have self preservation. You probably have to run them with a capo, which isn't exactly a high courage commander. So you know, I don't know. I, I I feel like I feel like the best place for them potentially right now is with Republic to give you a couple of extra activations uh, for for a cheaper price than you're used to. Uh, and but you'll have to let me know if you guys disagree. That's that's kind of that's where I'm going right now. I haven't seen the command cards yet. There's a lot we haven't seen yet, uh, but I think it's pretty cool. Plus they have uh, they have a whip guy that can do some immobilized stuff. Uh, so it, it'll be fun once we get like the full preview of the pikes and of course more. Like Black Sun and the Maul Delorians and uh, Rook Cast and and the new Darth Maul. We got more, and there's more. They they give us some more hints about Maul. You know, being they confirmed he'd be able to use all of all six command cards, which you kind of would expect because he's Maul. Uh, so like that's gonna be fun. And there's more. You know, Dark Saber makes him a commander. Otherwise, he's an operative. Cool stuff like that. So we'll 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 talk more. We'll do some speculation on what all kinds of stuff we might see. Uh, maybe some names of command cards and stuff. There'll be more speculative videos coming because uh, it's it's an exciting time for with Legion having new stuff kind of on the horizon. Um, I'm, I'm excited. Are you excited? I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. Hop over in our Discord and chat with us over there. I'd love to have you and uh, keep the discussion going. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Big thanks to my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing and help make this all possible. So thank you for your continued support. And I will talk to you later. As always, may the force be with you.